As far as I can remember, it's, it's back when uh, Jean Lafitte and the British and all was here, the Indians were picking up oysters on the banks over here, and they were, that was their major food. Before an oyster was ever sold, it was the Indians, that uh, the natives of Louisiana, that showed us about the oysters. That was their main, uh, one of their main courses on the menu, because the oysters were there on the shoreline, and they could go pick what they wanted. You know, it wasn't something they had to go hunt for. When we, they first started harvesting oysters in this bay, it was all sails. So you, would, you had a sail on your boat, and you would pull the dredge on the side, and the momentum of the boat, that's how you got the dredge up. You see that piling over there? My grandpa had two camps there, and my dad worked for my grandpa, and my whole family was always good people. But they had islands with uh, people living on it, all over here, years, years ago. Like this, this lake right here was full of islands, they're all going. Vanish. It's all going. It, the damage is done. Little, you know what I mean?
it's a rock. I guess this is straining the whole sea out and they said, let me see if I can try this. And I guess it, they figured it was a food that they can eat. What do the, what are always the thing? Because it's alive before you open it, you know? So I think they have a mind of its own, you know? Don't eat me, I guess, you know? Don't fish me out the sea. The north and south pole is, is, is melting, is melting, and all that water have to come somewhere, so it's coming down here by us. And we, we, we bring this 20-yard can, and we dump the shells on, in, the, in the rock place, in, in the rock shell place, and they pick them up, put them on a barge, they, they bring them to the marsh, and they kind of fill the marshes up with them. Wildlife is, is is catching hell right about now. They they they're gonna be knocking on your door in a minute. They ain't got nowhere else to go. They so they're coming to us. You know what I'm saying? You know, so long as we can keep doing what we're doing, it'll be all right for them. You know, you got somewhere to somewhere to how do you say that? Somewhere to, to chill out. If you think of, uh, think of a mound of soil with water rushing by it, you can, you can visualize how that would eat away at the soil. But if you imagine uh, what is really sort of a rock wall in front of that, it, it protects it from that movement of the water. We've deposited them into these marine grade mesh bags and then um, we'll, we'll put the bags of the shell into a steel cage called a gabion. And then we'll have a contractor lift the steel cages, put them on a barge, and go out to our reef site and place them where we have determined is the best spot for them to create an oyster reef. Oyster reefs, of course, have the remarkable ability to adapt for sea level rise, so they can continue to grow up if the water level goes up, uh, whereas if you built uh, a reef out of concrete or something, it could not do that. Um, so yes, we can win this, but uh, whether, we, uh, whether we have the fortitude to do that remains to be seen. It's, a, it, it's all a big mess created by man, and man is trying to undo that mess.
go to Florida, the Everglades is a very beautiful place, but it's not like it is here. Um, it, it's just, it's, I don't know. And there's nothing better than waking up and getting on one of these boats. You know, when you when you grow up in that concrete jungle, the city, you know, you don't really understand, you know, how things get to your plate or, you know what I mean? And, and out here, you know, we eat from the land. You know, our ancestors ate from the land. Um, there was a story by my grandmother that was 100 years old, and she said that, uh, you know, during the Great Depression in the early 1900s, there was no Great Depression in Lafitte because they're, it didn't matter if they had money or not. They had plenty of food from the waterways. We also understand the ecology and, and the balance of uh, life. You know, that you can't take too much from, from this or something else happens. You know, something has to die in order for something to live.